Jeremiah 51 verse 8. Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. How for her? Take balm for her pain. If so be, she may be healed. We would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her and let, let us go, everyone, into his own country. For her judgment reach into the heaven and is lifted up even to the skies. Call Halayim La Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai Bahasham or Kahakadash. Double honors and salutations to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone that taught us this truth that rule well. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect and to the one third men, women, and children of Israel and to the Israelite foreigners who has the appearance of the heathens. But their lineage, their seed lines from their fathers, goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Shalom. This is the brother Howard Shai Abadi of GMS Chicago. Uh, and want to make a video about, uh, hey, you see it right here. Uh, Biden, you know, it says here, laughs off an embarrassing fall at Air Force Academy commencement um, ceremony. The fourth public tumble of 80-year-old presidency as he arrives safely back at White House, all right? And this is the workings of Yahweh Yahweh Shai, man, who you people ignorantly call uh, God and Jesus, all right? Hey, and this is for the controversies against Zion, man, all right? This is a sign that this place is, is circling the drain, CTD, America, AKA Babylon. How do we know this? this is a future prophecy? Because modern day Babylon is Iraq. And Babylon, there are people still there to this day. So this has to be talking about a future Babylon. All right. It's, 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 it's in tandem with end times prophecy. Okay. And this is very beautiful that the Lord is allowing us to see these things, man. Okay. It's like you for the commercial. <laughs> hey, this place is finished. This place is finished. So let me get to the scriptures. And I'm going to get back in uh, Jeremiah 51 and 6. And it reads. Flee out of the midst of Babylon and deliver every man his soul. Be not cut off in her iniquity. For this is the time of the Lord's vengeance. He will render unto her a recompense. Babylon have been a golden cup in the Lord's hand. So the Lord made Babylon uh, to be to, to be lifted up, man, so that he can tear it down. Okay. That made all the earth drunken. The nations have drunken of her wine, of the philosophies of America. Right? Everybody run over here so that he can do wickedness. Because America is like the, the headquarters of wickedness. And who runs America? Esau Edom, the self-proclaimed white man. All right. He runs this place, right? He was given stewardship over America. This is his country, the world police, as everyone says. All right? They, didn't Jane Fonda just come out and say the problem with the world is a uh, uh, so-called white man, which they're red, red Hebrew Edomites. All right? Verse 8, Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. How for her? Take balm for her pain. If so, if so be, she may be healed. We would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her, which means get your spirit out of this place, man. Or you're going to be destroyed uh, right along with her. And let go, let us go every one, one into his own country for her judgment reach into the heaven and is lifted up even to the sky. The Lord have brought forth our righteousness. Come and let us declare in Zion. The work of the Lord, our power. And that's what we're doing when we go to the highways and byways. All right. Making these videos. Verse 11. Make bright the arrows. Uh, gather the shields. Okay. And those arrows are ICBMs. How America is going to be destroyed and turned into the lake of fire. All these countries, including America, are pointing uh, nuclear missiles against one another, man. All right. And that's gonna that that that's that and that World War Three rumors of war is already here in the earth. So the prophecies are here, man. You can't deny it. The Lord have raised up the spirit of the kings of the Medes, which is the Russians, Putin and them, right? For his device 
is against Babylon to destroy it because it is the vengeance uh it is vengeance of the Lord the vengeance of his temple okay so hey man we're prophesying the downfall of this place let's grab real quick here the book of Joel um Joel chapter three. Shit out of here, man. Uh, and I'll start at one. For behold, in those days and in that time, when I shall bring against the captive captivity of Judah and Jerusalem. I will bring I will also gather all nations and will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat. That's World War Three, man. All right. Je Jehoshaphat means Yahweh's punishment, right? Uh Yahweh Mashapat, right? And will plead with them there for my people, who's the Lord's people. So-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and the speckled birds that look like the heathens, right? And for my heritage, Israel, nobody else, whom they have scattered among the nations. Okay. Salakia, hold on. Salakia. Back in Joel uh, 3 and uh, verse 2. I will also gather all nations and will bring them down to the valley of Jehoshaphat and will plead with them there for my people. And for my heritage, Israel, whom they have scattered among the nations, which was prophesied in uh, Deuteronomy 28 and 60, uh, 64, right? And parted my land. All right. So we know that uh, that that uh, that was uh, uh, um, pretty much the Edomites, man. So-called white people. All right. And their headquarters is here. America, a.k.a. Babylon and how did they find Babylon man how did they uh, uh, find it what, what they, they 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 took it actually not found they took it from blood man let's uh, read this real quick let's read Nahum chapter 3 verse 1 woe to the bloody city which means destruction it is full of lies and robbery and 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 pray depart not all right the noise of of a whip and the noise of the rattling of the wheels and the prancing horses and the jump and of and, and of jump the jumping chariots the horsemen lift up both the bright sword and the glittering spear and there is a multitude of slain and a great number of carcasses and there is none in of their corpse they stumble upon their corpse because of the multitudes of whoredoms of the well-favored harlot the mistress of witchcrafts that selleth nations through her whoredoms and families through her witchcrafts. All right. Behold, I am against thee, saith the Lord of hosts, and I will discover thy skirts upon thy face, and I will show the nations thy nakedness and the kingdoms thy shame. And that's what's going on right now, man. America is being looked at, and, and for all, this is where you get to see uh, critical race theory and all that from. All right. This is the reason why. Uh, they're, they've just signed in the law that uh, white supremacy is an, an extension of white supremacy goes to Indians, blacks, and Mexicans. They just put that decree in, man. All right. And this uh, this uh, Nahum chapter 3 verse 4, that directly, co directly connects to uh, Revelation 17 and uh, 2. That harlot, man. Verse uh, 6. And I will, I will cast abominable filth upon thee, and make thee vile, and set thee against, set thee as a gazing stock. All right. So everybody is looking at America side eye, man. This is all prophecy. What we're looking at. Okay. Now let's get to um. And this is why it has to fall. This is why it has to fall. Let's grab um real quick. Did I read two? Yeah, I read two. Okay, let's grab Revelation. Revelation 18, I'm going to start from the top. 
And after these things, I saw another angel come down from heaven, having great power, and the earth was lightened with his glory. And he, and he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon the great is fallen, is fallen, and become the habitation of devils and the hold of every foul spirit and a cage of every unclean and hateful bird. For all nations have drunken of the wine of, her, of the wrath of her fornication and the kings of the earth had committed fornication with her and the merchants of the earth are wax rich through uh through the abundance of her delicacies and i heard another voice from heaven saying come out of her my people that ye be not partakers of her sins that and that ye receive not of her plagues and one of those plagues is uh is is, is the nuclear missiles all right civil unrest right uh, famine and famine of the word. Let's jump to verse 18 in Revelation 18. It says, and cried, uh, no, I'll start at 17. <laughs> yeah, I'll start at 17. For in one hour, so great riches has come to naught, which means so an end. And every shipmaster and all the companies and ships and sailors and as many as trade by sea stood. <laughs> Stood um, slide. Oh, uh, stood afar off, verse 18, and cried when they saw the smoke of her burning, saying, What city is like unto this great city? And and that isn't America a great city? You can drive from Maine to San Diego without any checkpoints, for now at least. And you can drive from Miami all the way to uh, Oregon, man, or Washington State, right? That's a great city. And they cast dust upon their heads and cried, weeping and wailing, saying, Alas, alas, that great city where were made rich all that bad ships in the sea by reasons of her costliness, for in one hour is she made desolate. And that's that lake of fire, man. Rejoice over her, thou heaven, and ye holy apostles and prophets, which mean those men have to be walking the earth in these last days, man. All right. And prophesying its downfall. Okay, Lord willing, I'm of one of those men and the men that teach this doctrine of Yahweh why Yahweh Shah, man. For Yahweh have avenged you on her. Alright. And a mighty angel took up a stone like a great millstone and cast it into the sea, saying, Thus with violence shall the great city Babylon be thrown down and, and shall be found no more at all. Alright. So this is the good news, man. But hey, only the uh, one third, the elect men, the hundred and forty-four thousand. Only this is this is only good news to them. All right, let's grab this real quick. Romans nine and seventeen. For the scripture saith unto Pharaoh, because hey, America is likened to the modern day Pharaoh, and it's not a coincidence that the Lord put uh, in verse uh, twelve that uh, verse thirteen. In this uh, Romans chapter 9, as it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. All right. Right in the same chapter, just what, three verses away, three to four verses away, you have right here. It says, for the scripture say unto you, Pharaoh, why is Egypt and, and Esau linked together, man? Because this is modern day Egypt. America is spiritual Egypt, like it says in Revelation 11 and 8. All right. So there's the, the, the connection. For the for the scripture saith unto Pharaoh, even for this same purpose have I raised thee up. See, Bab the Lord made Babylon a golden cup. Raise it up, right? That I might show my power in thee, and that my name might be declared throughout all the earth. All right. So he's gonna throw this uh, place down violently, just like how Biden violent violently uh fell. Okay. Um Let's grab the last set of scriptures, which is in uh, Second Edris six. Call it my cherry on top scriptures, and this is uh, cha uh, Second Edris chapter six, verse seven. Then answered I and said, "What shall be the parting asunder of the times?" This is Edris talking to the angel, or when shall be the end of the first and the beginning of it that followeth? And he said unto me, "From Abraham to Isaac." When Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob's hand 
held first the heel of Esau. And we're spiritually got a, our hand on Esau's heel right now, man. All right. And they don't like it. For Esau is the end of the world, this present world, the end of Edomite supremacy. Okay. And Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. All right. So after America falls, Babylon the Great. All right. Esau Edom's empire, so-called white man's empire. Then Jacob will follow after that, which is the kingdom of heaven on earth. Like it says in the Lord prayer on earth as it is in heaven. The kingdom, man. All right. So with that, I pray as edifying. Brakatea hawa, brakatea hawa shai, ba'ashem akakadash shalawam.